Afternoon, everyone. Um, I uh, teach here at Shaw, so I teach all of Year 7 and also a housemaster. So as far as housemastering goes at Shaw, I'm in charge of uh, 95 boys and so I have to keep my Lampada house page really informative. It's actually got to be able to target at Year 7 boys right through to Year 12. We're on the vertical house system here. So my um, modules vary quite a lot and it is really, it's imperative that housemasters here keep it fresh, keep it up to date and um, use it as much as possible. I must say I really rely on this heavily and I find it's the best way to get my information out to the boys. I only meet with them once a week on a Friday for half an hour. We have our house meetings, meetings. we have them in here they're spread throughout the school. There are 18 houses here at Shaw. Um, four boarding houses. They have less boys, obviously. The day houses are around the 90 mark. So with the boys, when I have my house meeting, the boys come in, sit down, and um, my house captain and vice captain actually run the house meetings. Um, as I say to the boys, it's their house. It's what they make it. Um, however, I meet with them before, and I have them... Uh, I have given them permission, so my year two, year 12 boys, house captain, vice captain, virtually run this house page. So they're in charge of, um, I've got, given them full reign of just isolated onto the house, and they put notices up. We discuss the morning before the house meeting, they come in early before school with me, and sit down and they say, we want this module, that module, etc. So they come up to the custom page there and they choose what modules they want, etc. and we go through what's applicable. So on my house at the moment, as Year 12's finished uh, at our school yesterday, graduations tonight, um, I went through with them. They had to... Uh, oh, first of all, up the top we've got the group calendar. So I really rely on that. Every Friday afternoon after school, I update the calendar. And that calendar I have designated to my four tutors. So my four teachers who are tutors in my house, and they have groups of 25, 30 boys. Um, so that goes straight onto their Lampada page as soon as they log on in the morning for the week. So with the calendar here, I put in all the events um, and when we have chapel, when they have tutor group, what's happening, all the bookings for different venues and where the boys go to. So that calendar is very easily read. Um, I'm an integ ITCT integrator here at Shaw, so I've sat down with some of the housemasters and gone through the calendar with them, and they've realised how much easier it was. So when, when Lampard at Schoolbox first came here, what they were doing is just getting a text module and putting all the events of that week in a text module and just posting it up until they suddenly realised, well, the tutors weren't going to access that unless they actually went to that Lamparta page. Whereas if they just logged on normally for their timetable, as my tutors do, they get the whole run of what happens during the week and where to go. The boys also get that, so the boys know, oh, there's a change, we're in the gym now, we're not on the oval for tutor group, and it's all there for them. Uh, so older times, I mean, earlier times at least, I had a whiteboard outside my locker room and I'd put all the events up for the whole week. Uh, now I'm using that less and less and saying to the boys, if you want to know what's happening, you need to log on, log on to the, class pa uh, in, onto the house page, and find out the events. So they've got to take responsibility for their learning and they've got to uh, work out what venues they have to go to. So at the moment we've just had recently um, elections for house captain and vice captain as year 12 move out now for their HSC next term. Year 11 step up for next term and so the voting has just finished this process. Uh, earlier times it used to give out 95 individual bits of paper with every year 11 boy on it, get them to tick which one they would prefer and of course the boys get up and publicise themselves and how they can be a good leader and then I'd collect 95 sheets of paper, correlate it all, work it out, think no more, this is just fantastic, so easy here. So what I would do here is I'd set up the survey, so it's another module, 
Fantastic. So straight in, I'd enter here the Year 11 names and what they would do is choose why they... Well, you can question it however you want. You have sections, really easy and very user-friendly. Um, then you get the graph. And then um, some of the things here, uh, the responses. So with my boys, I actually get them... I first off used to just make it anonymous. I thought, nah, they're not going to take responsibility for it, so they must put their name in the voting and why. And so then I know that every boy has voted um, for the house captain, vice captain. So that's worked really well. Uh, just <coughs> Sorry, just getting a bit lost here. Okay, so that was the survey. Then down the bottom here, um, just some little farewells, etc. notices there. What I do do, and I, I don't know whether the others do, I know up at King's I was showing some of the staff there, is if I've got a document, a PDF, um, you can attach it down on the side here for your links. What I tend to do is go into modify here, I won't spend too much time going ins and outs, and I actually then um, attach the uh, Word doc there, highlight it, and then go up and put my link in there. So the boys know they can just click on it and it'll go straight in. So I use it that way as well. It's probably better to use it as the links because then you've got it as a record. Um, so basically then down here, just informative things here. There is interactive, there's wikis, so I get them to use the wikis sometimes. Um, I use the slideshows, which is great. I have the photos of the boys when they're in Year 7 and the Year 12s yesterday cringe when I put that photo up. They're now in Year 12 and they just can't believe that's what they look like. But anyway, it's a bit of fun. Um, so just moving on now to my classes. What I do with my classes is interesting because I'm... Sorry to move you around a bit. Um, because I'm the only teacher that teaches horizontally with ICT rather than vertically, I do integrate with other year groups, but what I do here is I go into subject resources for my page, and of course I differentiate for different uh, year groups, but I go up into subject resources and then I go down into uh, TAS, and then when I'm in TAS here, I'll go into stage seven, and here what I'll do is put in all my ICT tasks and things, and I'll edit it in here, and then paste the link at the top onto their page so that all of you seven get to see the same page, and then I add different things for the different year levels. So what I really like about this one here with my survey, again, um, I use this be interesting, I haven't read this yet. Um, this is on how I went for the unit of work which they did um, and uh, comments, etc., on what parts of Scratch they were doing um, computer programming, Year 7, for this term. And so I just put in a survey for them to have a look at and, um, and then for them to reply, respond as well. So that gave me feedback on how I can improve teaching in that subject. So here's an example. So this is set four, and what I've done here is pasted that link here from subject resources. So then in here, so I've got survey for feedback. I use uh, Scratch here, and as you can see, I've highlighted, I put in links here. I can use the links folder, which I do down on the right-hand side, um, but I have it there for them. They've got a Facebook feedback link, which is, works well and then starting for the next sub next topic we're going to do is website design. Some of the boys want to work in the holidays, so they're going to do that. Over here I use the folders as well. I put in the program, scope and sequence and program. It's a prerequisite for all staff at Shaw to have their program up and their scope and sequence so that they can see in which term what information they're covering, etc. Um, it, it's good to have that, although you can get some emails, which I have had from boys saying, in week six we were meant to be doing this, ma'am. And I thought, oh, they're checking up on me. So 
Uh, yeah, keeps you on your toes. So, and typing and uh, some of the extra things they can do, the links. And then down the bottom here is um, the managing classroom and you go in, you can view your statistics to see how many um, people are viewing your page uh, and who are they and you can check up on that as well. Um, one last thing I was just going to say, I missed telling you in um, the house page, over on the right hand side I have folders here, down here for uh, the um, all the extra things I put there for the boys, um, but down here I've got quite a lot of folders and I've got a folder for house captain, vice captain, so they put in there all their information that they want to talk to the house about and their program. Uh, also their house colours, the boys can see how many points they've got till they get their award for their house colours. And also the house program, I pull up um, the wall planner so that they can actually see what's happening. Letters to parents, so I have that one, I have that um, encrypted so I can put a password on it or not if I want um, and basically in there I just put the letters to parents that are a newsletter for the beginning of each term and also any function, chapel service for year 12 etc so they've got all that there music festival counts tutors, they've got theirs encrypted just for the four tutors so they can read there any extra information so as you can see, basically it is, it's, it's a busy page, but it's really informative and it's a great way of getting the information out to tutors, parents and um, the boys as well. So it, it just work, it gets better and better for me. At the beginning I sort of gently, gently and still wanted to cling on to my whiteboard or giving bits of paper out and then suddenly, you know, I just book the boys up in the labs and say, right, we're going to vote. And it, it's made it so much easier for me in the long run. Okay.